Alright guys, welcome back to uh, AWM FX. So good morning, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. So today I'm gonna make a case study about GBP JPY 15 minutes. So that recently there is a movement. Okay, so we are looking at 15 minutes. So I'll be trading, I'll be analyzing based on the supply and demand and QM level. So first of all, let's identify where is the QM level. If you can see the price is moving downwards over here. All right, it's moving lower low, lower high, lower low, lower high, lower low, lower high. All right, so this is the ultimate lower low. All right, this is the ultimate lower low. Then suddenly there is a movement, this particular movement. Let me cut it over here. This particular movement. Maybe I'm gonna cut it more. All right. This particular movement broke the previous high at this point. This is the previous high. So is this qualified as a QM buy setup? Yes, of course, definitely. This is a qualified QM buy setup. All right. Then what happens is that we must label our QM properly. So this is our QML, the Quashimodo level. Okay, Quashimodo level QML. So once you have your QML, of course, you some of us will put a line at this point. And for the basic, okay, I'm going from the basic. The basic way of trading QM is they will buy at this area to this area. All right, which is considered quite okay, but uh, on 15 minutes is a big huge. So a lot of people they are trading this way, but we are not because we are doing what we are doing is that we go into more detail sniper entry. Why do I always do sniper entry? It's very simple, okay. If I get the entry correctly, precisely, sharply, okay, I really won the trade fifty percent. If you agree with me, please give me a like and then do subscribe. It's true. If you get in a trade, okay, at the most correct price, most advantageous area, you already won the trade fifty percent because your stop loss is so small. First thing, then the second thing is that your price, okay, your price is definitely better than other people's entry. So you already won the won the trade fifty percent. Okay, so let's come back to this trade. So first of all, we already identified where is the QML, correct? Now, because of the 15 minutes, okay, a lot of you might ask where do we find the MPL or do we find the uh, whatever MPL or something like that? Okay, first, I'm going to tell you when I come, when I trade, this is my experience, when I trade small time frame, all right, 5 minutes, 15 minutes, I don't go for MPL anymore. Reason is that it's very small for me to go into smaller time frame. I do not I do not want to go into minutes. Alright. Uh one minutes or maybe seconds. Seconds. Can you see that is seconds? But that is uh I mean no point going there. So what we do is that we'll go back to the basic. Small time frame, basic. What is our basic? Supply and demand. Okay, so we have to identify our fresh demand in this case because we sell at the supply remember supply is at the top we sell at the supply and we buy at the demand remember that this is very important maybe i need to write it down all right sell at supply buy at demand all right so this is very very important always always put this in your mind so now we are going to make a buy because this is a buy trade okay uh i would like to apologize for the sound because uh suddenly my place is raining very very heavily and uh, i think the sound is getting very bad but anyway i'll still continue because this content is uh is good enough for you very very important so what happens is that we must identify all the possible entry all right so let's mark out our uh, fresh demand. Okay, this is all up to you because uh, we are talking about mapping. If you guys know mapping, this is your this is the most advantageous place you can be. Okay, first of all, let's mark our demand zone. Okay, so first demand zone that I can see is over here. 
this is a demand zone from this red candle to this one is a demand zone but the problem is that the demand zone ended very fast okay exactly the, the third candle it ends the demand zone all right so the demand zone ends here and no more no longer fresh it's not fresh anymore so where is the second demand zone so the, the second demand zone is over here this is another demand zone another type of demand zone so the demand zone ended at this candle because this candle consumed the demand over here right so the last demand zone that i can see is this one this is the last demand zone okay market. so this demand zone is still very fresh so in this sense or in this trade out of these three demand zone which one should i take i'll definitely take the last one because it's still fresh okay and then it's uh the criteria is there this is a fresh demand zone and the stop loss is only <laughs> three pips maybe it's not correct because uh this is gvjpy the spread enough the spread even the spread itself is uh more than enough to consume you maybe you might make it bigger to to the edge over here all right seven pips i think seven pips 7.5 pips that is enough so what happens is that if you look at it properly i already forgotten what happens over here let's play it forward all right so look at it okay if you look at it the price okay the price we call it respect the zone the demand zone the price respect this demand zone because it is very very fresh this zone is very very fresh okay and once it touches this zone the price bounce and then goes up so this is what we consider as a good trade good analysis qm using the qm and the supply and demand method all right so hopefully you guys uh, learn a few tricks or tips about this i'm very 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 sorry about the sound because the my place is really currently is raining very very heavily so hopefully you guys learn a few things about this a simple straightforward qml setup by setup using the basic supply and demand because of small time frame all right so see you guys next time Hopefully you guys enjoy and please like and subscribe. So bye.